All right, so I want to make a video going over what I think are the best guitars for kids. But here's the thing. I tried finding a video on this topic multiple times, and all of the videos I found were very boring. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to introduce you to my son, Jack. Jack has been around music, instruments, and recording literally since the day he was born. And now that he's six, he spends over five hours a day learning and playing his instruments, primarily guitar. Now, because I play guitar and we have a lot of guitars in the house, and Jack has wanted to learn over the years, he's gonna show you the guitars that are the absolute best for him. But instead of just showing you what these guitars are, he's gonna actually explain the differences, why he likes them, and he's gonna play them for you. That way you'll actually get to hear the differences between these instruments. And also to keep it interesting, sometimes your kids will break the strings on their guitars, sometimes stuff happens. So along this journey, we're gonna show you how to change the strings on your kid's electric guitar. And then if you make it to the very end of the video, we're going to do a giveaway. So make sure you watch to the very end. My name is Jack and I'm six years old. What room are we in? Oh, in my studio. I play guitar, drums, and piano. On ukulele. <laughs> this is my Squire Strat. Um, it just sounds kind of cool. Feels really good to play. This guitar is the easiest one for me to play. I have another Strat, but this one's a lot smaller too. This is my Strat. This one turns up the volume. This changes the tone of it. The tone knob makes it sound darker or brighter. That was so good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these old strings from the guitar, and then we're gonna clean the guitar a little bit. It's got a little bit of wear and a little bit of probably lunch and some snacks on it. And then we're gonna put on some new strings and get it all tuned up, ready for use. To take these strings off, we're going to use our string winder, this little tool here, to unwind each string, not completely, but just so that the strings don't snap back at me when I cut them. Now, strings are loose and I can cut them so we can remove them. For this style of guitar, the way that the strings are coming in is through this bridge piece here. When you get a guitar for your kids, changing the strings is probably something that will happen not very often. But it's very good for the guitar and it will change the feel of how the guitar plays, it'll change how the strings sound, and it gives you a good opportunity to clean what is likely a very dirty guitar. Now one thing that can be confusing when you're going to put the strings on the guitar is which string goes in which hole to which tuner. So on the pack of guitar strings, there's gonna be a guide. So you wanna keep this packaging and you wanna not mess up this little guide here because the colors actually tell you which is the correct string to put in order on the guitar. Now to break this up, I'm gonna put all of the strings through the bridge first and then I will move up to the headstock and start wiring them into the tuners. My acoustic guitar. It's the Yamaha. <laughs> I think 
think I've had it for a year and a half. Yeah. Do you play this often? When do you play mm -hmm. an acoustic versus your other guitars? If the song is acoustic guitar, I'll use my acoustic guitar. Do you think it's easier or harder to play an acoustic guitar? It's harder. All right, now that I have all the strings in the bridge, I'm going to pull them up and over to the headstock. All right, so we're gonna bring our string up to the headstock and we're gonna stick it through this little tuner. And I'm gonna leave some slack here, okay? So you'll want to leave enough slack to actually go around the winder a couple times. I make this mistake all the time. To give it some slack is I'm actually gonna take this amount here and I'm gonna push down to kind of keep this still. And I'm actually gonna trim a little bit of this string because we don't need all of it. I'm gonna leave about two tuners of slack here. This is gonna save us a bunch of time on tuning up here, okay? So we're gonna make sure we're tuning in the correct direction. So now just before I get too tight, I'm just double checking that it's going through the correct thread on the nut at the top and the correct thread on the bridge. And then I'm gonna just get a little bit tighter here. So now that the sixth string is done, we're gonna repeat this process for the other five strings and then we will trim the whiskers here at the top, tune it up, and we will stretch out the strings and tune them up again. Now that the strings are all on, we're gonna go ahead and use our wire clippers here to trim our whiskers. Clip, clip. You wanna clip one? Yeah. Here, come over here. Ready? Squeeze. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Look at the whiskers are gone. The whiskers are gone. Now we're gonna have Jack tune this guitar up and we're gonna stretch out these strings. This is my Les Paul. had it for about a year I thought. I like the sound. There's really nothing I don't like about it. I mean, I don't know what I can say. <laughs> Something I don't like about it is that the color is red. What color would you like it to be? Probably black and orange or something. Have you had an acoustic guitar before? Uh, yes. And how do you like this one compared to it? Oh, the best one that I've had. Yeah. Do you play this often? When do you play mm. an acoustic versus your other guitars? If the song is acoustic guitar, I'll use my acoustic guitar. Squire Strat. Squire, yeah. I have another Strat, but this one's a lot smaller too. This guitar is the easiest one for me to play. <laughs> And how do you like to play this one? Mm, about as much as that. All right, so we've taken a look at the three different guitars that Jack uses literally every single day. A couple final points on them from a parent's perspective. One, they're all under $200, which is absolutely fantastic. And if you've ever bought an electric guitar before, a, an electric guitar that costs under $200, that's of any quality is a fantastic deal. They're both a miniature size body and guitar, so it's easier for a kid Jack's age to actually learn chord shapes and actually be able to learn some single finger picking movements and stuff like that. So both of these guitars have been really, really good for him. Acoustic guitars are always gonna be a little bit trickier from being able to play faster and quicker movements, especially for kids and especially for affordable acoustic guitars. As the person who plays with Jack every single day and sees which guitars he chooses, it was 
quite funny to see which one he prefers. I think his preference on which guitar he chooses really depends on the song that he's learning in that moment. Now the amp he's using is the Boss Katana. It is a amazing amp for kids. He had this other guitar amp before, it's an orange amp. It was a little trickier for him to sort of wrap his head around, whereas on his Boss Guitar amp, it's extremely user-friendly. So he immediately looked at it and understood how to use the whole thing. He learned how to use the effects completely on his own. So if you're dangerous enough to get a guitar amp for your kid, this one's gonna be the most user-friendly for the kids. All right, now that we're at the end of the video, we are gonna do the giveaway, and we're gonna give away the Fender Squire Strat, the black guitar, and we're gonna do the Boss Katana amp. I'll put a link to enter the giveaway at the top of the description. Click that link. There's several different ways to enter the giveaway. I will not comment to you in the comments and tell you that you won. Those are scams, please don't fall for those. I will reach out to you personally and get your information and Sweetwater, who is sponsoring this video, is actually gonna send you the guitar, the amp, and all the accessories so that you can have your own first setup for your kids. There's a link, again, in the description. Click the link, enter on there. I wish you luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this video. Any compliments for Jack or to make him super happy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next one.